Tyler Smith and his cousin Chris are building homemade body armor. They hope it will give them the upper hand if society collapses and they have to loot supplies from other well-armed doomsday preppers. This roofing tower is gonna slow the bullet down. But before they go any further, they need to make sure that Tyler's version of the Army's bulletproof ceramic plates are really all they can be. So this is just basically a small version of what we're gonna be carrying. It has our ceramic plates in it, which are wrapped in fiberglass and roofing tar with a layer of 1 8 aluminum over the front of it. To be effective, the ceramic tiles need to withstand the firing power from three guns often preferred by preppers. A 22, a shotgun, and a 30-06. So we're gonna start small and get bigger as we go. The first rounds in the tests are from the 22 long rifle, which uses one of the most purchased calibers of ammunition. Three rounds, peeps, loaded up. This is why I like coming over here and hanging out with Tyler, because every time I come over here, he always wants to shoot something or blow something up. Let's go check out the damage, Chris. Hopefully the ceramic stopped it. Oh, uh, we had one pass through, which was high. Yeah. Actually missed the ceramic. But the other ones actually stopped it. Yep, they're right there. You can see the lead. Holy crap, they didn't even puncture it. The bullets actually stuck right here under the tape, didn't even penetrate. Surprise, dude. I will say you got some skills. <laughs> I had my doubts. All right, Chris, let's see if it withstands the 12 gauge shotgun. OK. It's hot. It just peppered it. it, didn't even go through. Hell no, it didn't go through. I knew it wouldn't. Rip the tape off, that's about it. You can see the scatter pattern from the shotgun. Nothing, perfect. 